In this video, I'm going to share with you tips on how to eat healthy on a budget. Eating healthy on a budget is not as hard as you think it is. In fact, it can be really simple. It can be an easy process. If you get educated and start learning, you're able to make these choices and realize it's, it's easy to start buying these healthy foods and it's not as expensive as you think and you can start a little bit at a time. So start replacing some of the food that isn't good for you with something that is. So you're just swapping. You're not buying this, so now you can buy this. So when you take little steps at a time, it's not such a big change and it's, it's an actually an easy process and it can be fun, it can be exciting. So through this process, I highly recommend finding resources where you can learn. There's documentaries on Netflix, there's books, there's so many resources. Talk to friends, learn as much as you can because it makes it easier to invest it makes it easier to, to start that process. And as you understand the benefits, it, it doesn't even seem like it's, it's more money. Sometimes things do cost more, but you can see that investment. You're saving later by investing more now. And, and then it makes it a wonderful trade-off. So it doesn't seem like you're spending a lot because you're actually getting this help. In, in trade. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because that's what you will learn here is, is how to be healthy and you'll get that education that you need as you make that transition. Another great source is co-op sources. It, most communities has some sort of shared program where there's fruits and vegetables, fresh produce that you can become a part of and it's inexpensive and you're getting mostly organic usually. So you can look online, talk to friends, go to the library, ask around and you can find some of those sources to help you in this transition. Have you ever gone shopping without a shopping list? It's easy to go and buy the things that you think that you want, the things that you think you'll need and you get home and you realize, what am I gonna make with this? So to be able to save money, it's important to plan ahead make a, a menu at least a week, a week's worth, and then write down what you need for each thing. That way you can save money and you're, you have a meal and you get to choose, you get to make it healthy. So it's really beneficial to plan ahead and decide what you need to buy at the store so you don't just buy all these random things and waste your money. So eating a healthy diet and saving money isn't just about saving money. Um, we get to save money sometimes later by investing now. And so be willing to get that quality food and you get to save the medical bills that you may have been paying later by investing now. So eating more fruits and vegetables will save you money. When you swap out and eat less of the processed food, less of the meats and eat, put more of the fruits and vegetables on your plate, then you will save the money that you would have been spending on the meat and also saving for down the road because you're giving your body more of the vitamins, minerals, enzymes, phytochemicals that your body needs, you will prevent from spending on diseases or ailments and on medications, surgeries, and other things that can come when you're not taking care of your body. So spend more on the fruits and vegetables. You actually end up saving money because you can buy less of the expensive processed food and then you set yourself up for saving money later and preventing from some of those costly medical expenses. One of the best ways to eat healthy and save money is to plant your own garden. Now I'm not a garden expert yet, but it is pretty easy to plant and get produce. So when you plant it yourself, you know what's in it. It can be organic and you can, it grows. You have so much growing and you get to save that money and take it right from your garden and put it on your, your table and save that money that you would have been buying on produce at the store. Also, when you get to pick it from your backyard, you're not as tempted to buy the other things when you're going to the store for the produce. If you take these tips and just incorporate one at a time, it won't be such a shock to your budget. Be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions, leave your comments below.